And a headline from an article in the Globe and Mail from Canada states Asian carp are just one flop away from the Great Lakes. 30 years ago, Asian carp were imported into catfish farms to help reduce algae. They escaped into southern waterways like the Mississippi rivers when fish farms became flooded and have steadily moved north ever since. Electric barriers are used to keep them out, but it's been reported that the carp were migrating closer to them. These voracious eaters can consume 40% of their body weight each day and could potentially out-eat every other species of fish in the Great Lakes and cause the collapse of an ecosystem. Over the past months, WFN News has been gathering interviews with some of the top people working on the front lines, trying to prevent invasive species from changing our waters in North America. As you'll see, one message clearly stands out, educating the public. The reason this is such a big problem is because uh, in each instance, we have no way of knowing what the impact is going to be when we add a new species into an already established ecosystem. Fish tend to be eating more at the bottom of the food web and feeding more at uh, uh, benthic invertebrates, so some of the, 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 the bugs that are living within the sediments. And that's driving much more of the energy flow than, for example, the water column production, the phytoplankton and the zooplankton. We never really know what's going to happen when invasive species get loose in our environments. And so it's a, it's a major unknown and in some cases has had catastrophic impacts. Make no mistake, these animals have literally transformed the way our lakes function. And we thought that this effect was going to be limited almost exclusively to shallow water. What we're now seeing are horrific reports out of Lake Michigan and Lake Huron, two of our deeper lakes. And what we're seeing there is that species like Lake Whitefish uh, and, an, and a number of other native fishes uh, are either uh, in severe decline uh, or the animals themselves, if you do a condition uh, comparison of animals today versus 10 years ago, the animals today are much leaner, uh, much less fat than they used to have, and it appears as a direct result of uh, uh, food limitations. So the animals are not, being, uh, not obtaining enough food. There are a lot of good things that have been done uh, to try and stop invasive species uh, in terms of the Great Lakes, where we've seen a lot of invasive species uh, over the years. There have been policies put in place to exchange ballast water in marine ships before they enter the Great Lakes. Uh, there are things at that level that people are now doing. Uh, there are also things at the level of individual anglers where we've uh, put a lot of energy into trying to educate individual anglers. Denver Water has a long tradition of allowing sporting, sport fishing in our facilities. We're very proud of that. And we also understand how the economy of local communities depends on these water bodies being open to the public. Um, so we've taken a very proactive approach and we have uh, inspections, boat inspections, at every one of our uh, facilities that's open to recreational boating. Some of the conservation authorities, the Ministry of Natural Resource provides you guidance on what not to do. That's also true for some of the aquatic plants. They're worried about transfer of some of the plants that outcompete some of the native species and change a lake. So um, there's a lot you can do to um, stop the transport of these exotic species um, uh, through your practices, and education is a key component of that. Clearly, the most important thing, though, is education. Um, one of the most important things that the, the uh, people in the community can do is to understand how important these inspections are. And in addition to that, if what they can do is, after they get done taking their boat out of their water, clean it, drain it, and dry it. It's gonna, be, it's gonna make their inspections coming back in to the next, time, next place that they go to so much quicker. It's just gonna be the, the way that we can all work together to, to make this happen.